Hey friends, it's Carrie here with eatingonadime.com and today we're making crock pot cube steak and gravy. It's a four ingredient recipe that you've got to make. You can get the full recipe in the link in the description. <music> cooker for it will work for those of you who are asking about my slow cooker you can't really find it right now but there are lots of really good slow cookers you do not have to have a fancy one this one is a fancy one a multi cooker is what they're called um, because it can brown and steam and do all the fancy things and I love that and I highly recommend you get one eventually but for this recipe just a regular old dust off the old crock pot and use it you're gonna love this recipe okay so we're gonna start off with Cube steak. What is cube steak, you ask? Does anybody know what cube steak is? Steak cut in cubes. No, it's not. Oh, okay. It is not steak cut in cubes. It is steak that is tenderized, right? Tenderized Yeah, it's usually just a cheapy round steak tenderized. So if you do not have, you can't find cube steak, you could easily pound out some round steak, don't you think? Yeah. So you do you, boo. I'll just throw pound out blood if you're <laughs> no, don't do that. Um, but yeah, so you can, I mean, the great thing about the crock pot, honestly, you could probably even do this with just regular cheap round steak and not even pound it out. You'll still have the same delicious flavors. It's just the cube steak um, makes it extra tender, but in a crock pot, everything's going to taste amazing, right? And super tender. Okay, so now I'm going to throw in a package of Lipton onion soup mix. If you do not like buying the mixes, I get it. I feel you. We have a homemade recipe on eatingonadime.com. It's so easy to make. So just go to eatingonadime.com. We have an amazing search feature. Our search works great. I talk about that all the time because our search used to not work great, but now it does. So you can type in onion soup mix and it will pull up. We're gonna throw in two cans of cream of mushroom soup. Same thing. First off, if you don't like mushroom, you could easily do different kinds, like cream of chicken, you think? Cream of celery. So I'm doing two cans of those, but again, you can make your own. We have a recipe, eatingonadime.com. Just search homemade cream of mushroom soup. Cream of bacon would be good. Is it a good, is it a thing? I thought somebody mentioned that once. I'm being dead serious. Okay, maybe it's not a thing. Honestly, if you use our cream of mushroom homemade soup, you could make it with bacon. I wouldn't be mad about it. You guys are so mean to me. Yeah, it's just the IT guy. Everybody knows I've only had one cup of coffee, people, and I need two to survive. Oh, the dang husband has to work and doesn't wait on me hand and foot to make my coffee. So mean, right, guys? I'm going to throw in a cup of beef broth. You could do water, but I really like beef broth in this because we're making a gravy. So we want it to be packed with flavor. That's it. Next one. Hello. We're going to slow cook this on low. So where's that? I never can do this backwards. Slow cook. Oh, oh I don't have it plugged in. Hey, I told you. Okay, so back to what I was saying. You have to plug in your crock pot. You turn it on low. Let me double check my times. Yeah, low for six to eight hours or high for three to four hours. I tend to like to cook this a little bit longer, like closer to the eight or closer to the four, just because I want those steaks super tender where like it's fork tender. That's what you're wanting here. That's the goal here. I am serving this on egg noodles, just regular traditional egg noodles. And we're going to have steamed broccoli with it. So let's talk about some ways to make this completely your own. You can take the same recipe. And you can throw in frozen broccoli in the last, do you think 30 minutes? In the last 30 minutes, you could throw in green beans in the last 30 minutes. That would be delicious as well. Even um, asparagus chopped up would be so good as well. You can serve it on mashed potatoes instead of noodles. You can serve it on rice instead of noodles. So you could take the same recipe and I just gave you like five different ways to make it. Not to mention, you could do cream and bacon, right? We just established that that's a real thing. If it's not readily available, you are just going to, if it's not readily available in your area, don't worry, friends. Oh, no, shh. Oh, they were so annoying in my video yesterday. I know, you got this. 
Okay, but what I was saying is you can use our homemade cream of mushroom soup, but use bacon instead of the mushrooms. And you just made a homemade cream of bacon soup. So you could even throw in bacon in here. Honestly, this would be delicious. The options are unlimited here. Um, and that's why you've got to make this recipe today. Super simple, super easy. This is one recipe the kids are going to come home and be excited about. Actually, most of the recipes will come home and be excited about. Um, we had that peppered steak yesterday and my kids devoured it. Um, yeah, it was delicious. I made it double, hoping for lots of leftovers. Didn't that happen. Enough, yeah, we had enough for one lunch for my husband. That's not what I was planning for. I was planning on multiple lunches, but they loved it. Okay, so we're out of here. Thanks so much for joining us today for Croctober Day 19. Remember to um, say the word recipe below. We will send you the full recipe. Plus, we'll send you the link on how to get our 31 days of Crock-Pot recipes completely for free in your email. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time in my kitchen. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. Thanks so much for joining me today. Remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more of our family-friendly recipes. You can get the full recipe in the link in the description below, as well as how to sign up for our 31 days of Crock-Pot recipes completely for free. I'll see you next time in my kitchen. Bye, friends.